Hello my dears. After the completion of our first chapter wake up. Now we shall start our second lesson. Neha's alarm clock. Okay. Children, do you know what is an alarm clock? Have you seen an alarm clock? Yes. I guess everybody must have seen an alarm clock. So let us let me show you the picture of an alarm clock. Okay. So this is an alarm clock. So what is an alarm clock? Can anybody tell me? Okay, try to find out what is an alarm clock. See, alarm clock gives us some alarm sound or alerting sound. Okay, so let me tell you what is an alarm clock. Alarm clock is a clock that tells us time. Okay, it gives us a sound like like that. Okay, so today this lesson is about time. Here, there are so many characters in this lesson. Neha, narrator, mother, birds and son. See, here Neha, she is a little girl like, a little child like you. She is a young girl. She goes to school and for going to school, she sets an alarm to wake up. Okay, every day she set her alarm clock. Okay, and Next, here the another character that is narrator. The story is being narrated by a narrator. Dear children, do you know who is a narrator? Narrator means a person who narrates a story or a person who narrates an incident. Okay, so here the narrator is telling us the story. When I read the text, you have to follow my reading. Okay. And you also read the text loudly. So here goes our lesson. Let's start Neha's alarm clock. Page number 6. Okay. Narrator. Ring, ring, ring. Off goes the alarm clock at 6 in the morning. Neha makes a face and covering her ears with a pillow, snuggles under the warm blanket. But she knows she has to get up. She mutters to herself. See, so here the narrator is saying that the alarm clock goes ring. Then what time? At 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay, Neha's alarm clock, it starts to ring at 6 a.m. at morning. Then what happened? But she doesn't want to wake up. The alarm is saying to her to wake up dear by ringing. But Neha doesn't want to wake up. So what happened? She covers her ears with a pillow. She doesn't want to hear the ringing sound of the alarm clock. So what did she do? She covers her ears with a pillow and snuggles under the warm blanket. Okay children, here is a new word. Snuggles. Spell it S N U G. G L E S snuggles. Snuggles means to crawl inside or go inside or move inside. Okay, see here when she heard the alarm sound, she crawled or she moved inside into the warm blanket because she doesn't want to wake up. She covers her ears with a pillow and she crawls under the warm blanket. Okay, but she knows she has to get up. She mutters to herself. Here children, there is another new word, mutter. Mutter means speak in low voice. See, like this. Oh, I have to get up. Okay, she mutters to herself. Now let's see what Neha says. Go to the next paragraph. Neha, this alarm clock always rings at 6 and pulls me out of the bed. It's so unfair. Oh, how I would love to sleep a little longer in the morning. I wish this clock would forget its job sometimes. Dear children, from this lines you can see Neha doesn't want to wake up at all. She grumbling, oh this alarm clock, it always rings at 6 and it is not good or it is no unfair. It's so unfair. Unfair means not good. She wished to sleep little longer time in the morning. 
I want to get up and she wishes that the clock forgets its job. Means what is the job of the clock? Yes, it rings the alarm or it gives the alerting sound. So Neha wishes the clock forget its job of ringing. Now look what happened. Narrator. Something falls. Neha smiles. See, something falls and Neha smiles. Here the narrator is saying to us something falls down and Neha smiles. smiles. Okay, can you guess what was fallen? Yes, the alarm clock must have fallen. Then Neha said, Neha, oh my clock has fallen. How happy I am. Tomorrow I can get up late. So, when the alarm clock falls, Neha was very happy. Wow! She was happy that tomorrow I can get up late. Why she was happy, you know? Yes, she was happy because next morning there will, there will be no alarm to wake her because the alarm clock is already broken. Or That's why she was very happy. Okay. Now look at the last paragraph of the same page. Narrator. Next morning there is no alarm. So Neha sleeps and sleeps. The small chippy birds which come to the window sill every morning find Neha still sleeping. See here the next morning there is no alarm. So Neha sleeps and sleeps. After the cloak was broken, next morning there was no alarm to Neha to wake up Neha and she was sleeping and sleeping and in the morning the birds which come to the window sill every morning they found Neha still sleeping. Do you know what is what, there is a new word there window sill w i n d o w s i l l it means the bottom surface of the window. Okay so here the birds used comes and sit in the window every morning they used to find Neha was sleeping and it was already 6 o'clock. The birds saw Neha was still sleeping. Okay. So children, once again you look at this new words. Pillow, snuggles, mutters, unfair, narrator and windowsill. Okay children, I hope you understood the entire part of this video. So the rest of the lesson will be covered in the next video. Okay. Thank you.